It'll be the highest attended state fair since 2019. So tonight, we're giving you a first look at the new security measures designed to keep you and your family safe there. One tool just installed today. News Channel Line's Madison Moore shows us what you'll see and intentionally won't see. You may have been coming to the state fair for years. Maybe you got wanded walking through the front gate, but times have changed and so has security. For this year, they're, they're having a newer uh, state-of-the-art technology that's going to be implemented. And that new technology Trooper Keller is talking about will look something like this. The fair is calling it a new weapons detection system. And this notice outside of the main gate tells you to keep moving and not remove any personal items. And security doesn't stop at the gates. So they're going to see what they normally would see every year anyways. A large contingency of uniformed troopers along with what they don't see and that is uh, undercover. And those trained eyes and ears will be working around the clock to make sure your fun isn't interrupted. So we prepare all year round. We work with uh, outside agencies. We work with the Department of Homeland Security, with State Fire, uh, with a number of agencies because we have to be prepared for anything. Such as a mass shooting. We have tabletop exercises to, to put the scenario together of an active shooter. God forbid it ever did occur here. But certainly we're hoping that never comes into play. So you don't have to worry when you come to play at the fairgrounds. Security is, is whether it's on the grounds or they're in these buildings monitoring counterintelligence, monitoring social media. We're always keeping an eye on what's happening. Trooper Keller considers the state fair the safest place you can be. From the fairgrounds, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. One of the many calls for service state police received during the fair every year lost person. So Trooper Keller is encouraging people, make sure you use those lost kids tags at the gates and not only for the kids, but also he recommends for adults with disabilities who tend to wander off.